Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JusticeGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to share five menu hacks and tips in Photoshop that you might not have seen before. So a lot of these tricks are actually found in the Photoshop preferences menu. So you could open that up with the shortcut command K or you could go to Photoshop preferences general. So here Photoshop lets you play with a lot of the different menus and interfaces and adjust them to your liking. So one cool tip is if you don't like the default dark gray appearance, you could go to interface and choose the color theme to be a even darker gray or switch to the classic CS5 light gray look or even white if you prefer. I like sticking with the default darker theme. Another useful tip is if you head over to the performance tab, you'll see this section over here that says history states and it's at default set to 50. Now everyone's favorite feature in Photoshop has to be the undo feature which lets you take a step backward and this is actually the amount of times that you could undo. So normally it's set to 50. So let's say I was working on a document and I have been doing a lot of different actions and I open up my window history panel but if I open up my preferences again and go to performance I could increase this number to 75 or 100 but do be careful, the more you increase it, the more memory Photoshop is gonna be needing to use. So if you're running on a slower computer or a computer with not much disk space on it, increasing this too much could slow down your program. The next tip has to do with how you wanna see your cursors and brushes in Photoshop. So normally when you head over to your brush tool, you'll see that circle or ring that shows you your brush size, as big or small as you want. Now, if you ever hit the caps lock key, you'll notice that your brush turns into a cursor. And no matter how big you set your brush size to be, it's still that same cursor. But if you head to your cursors menu in the preferences tab, you can actually turn this crosshair on at all times, even when the circle's there, to get a more precise feel to your brush. You can also do this with other cursors like the ink dropper. But uh, I like this little tip, the show crosshair and brush tip because it lets you not use the caps lock feature but still get that cursor. So that's one way to get a more precision brush to see where you're actually brushing. Another super quick tip when it comes to the preferences menu is if you head over to the workspace panel, you can check on large tabs. This is useful for anyone that wants just a little bit more room when it comes to grabbing and clicking on different tabs in Photoshop. So you can see the difference between small tabs and large tabs. I'm personally fine with not large tabs, but if you want a little bit easier workflow or you're not as precise with your mouse, you could give yourself a little bit more button to grab when you're working in Photoshop. Now for the fifth useful tip I find when it comes to menus in Photoshop, and one that I use every single time I use Photoshop, is if we head out of the preferences menu, you could actually arrange all the menus exactly how you want. So open up every window you want and place it wherever you want. And then if you wanna save your particular workspace for your workflow, if you head over to Window Workspace and select New Workspace, Photoshop will save everything how it is, so how you typically work. And you could tell it to save all your menus, toolbars, and keyboard shortcuts. And you could name it. So you could name yours like Painting or Photo Editing. I use this specific workspace when I'm recording Photoshop videos and that way I can just go to window workspace and use my specific workspace whenever I want and Photoshop will reset it to how it was. So those are five quick Photoshop menu tips and tricks that you might not have known about. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more. If you're already subscribed and you liked it, then go ahead and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.